presented by Church Tech U. It's the Pro Presenter Show. On today's show, how to quickly change whether media is a foreground, a background, or put it on the slides layer. Hi, and welcome again to the Pro Presenter Show. This is the show where I teach you all about Pro Presenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. I keep hearing people uh, be a little confused, and for years I was confused about this too, about the difference between foreground videos, background videos, when it stops, when it loops, and um, also how you can stack media on top of one another. So I thought that we'd head over to my computer and I'd tell you just how easy it can be to do just that. So here we are in uh, Pro 7, and notice that I created a couple of playlists down here for backgrounds and foregrounds. You don't have to do it that way, but since I've been using Pro Presenter since Pro 3, um, that's the way that it made sense to me. So I created a background playlist, I created a foreground playlist. So the first thing I want to tell you is that um, if you put a foreground video acts like a slide in that it only plays while it's when it's in a presentation it only plays while that particular slide slide is selected and therefore it tends to not loop but stop that's the default behavior a background, since it's supposed to be behind stuff, tends to loop. And it continues to play until it's replaced or removed. So backgrounds are persistent until they're replaced or removed. But there is only one media layer. So if you wanted two pieces of media to stack on top of one another, then you've got to be a little creative. So let me show you exactly what I mean. So uh, if I was dragging this in from the, uh, from the Finder in Mac OS or Windows Explorer in Windows, if I drag it onto a slide, it becomes a background. If I drag it between slides, it becomes a foreground. But since I've, uh, since I was dragging this from the media bin down here, then it stays what it is, no matter which of those things that I do. So uh, this is a foreground video. You'll notice that it looks just like this uh, background video here. It's actually got a different uh, thing on it, uh, a different thumbnail that I changed in the inspector, previously called the... Uh, media properties so that's why that's different but this is in fact the same video that was uh, a foreground down here right there so what would happen if I wanted to change what it was let's say I only had it in one place or I'd put it in incorrectly let's say I put it there that um, is a foreground. Notice the uh, right here, this icon shows that it is a foreground because it's got the media on top of something else. So if I wanted to change that to a background, quick easy way to do it, right click and go down to media action behavior. Notice it says it's foreground when I select background, the icon, these two things swap. So now it is a background. And so it would behave like a background would do. Um, it does not change, by the way, whether it loops or not. It just changes the behavior of how it acts. So now when I click on this, it should, yeah. So it has continued to act like a background. Whereas, when if I go here and uh, media action behavior, I change that to a foreground, 
it should then be the case that it only is on that one slide. So now if I go to here, it should be that this goes away. And that's exactly what happened. So what if I wanted to have, let's say, this PNG, which I admit is ugly. I'm sorry, I was in a rush. Uh, what if I wanted to have this PNG, which has transparency, over that video? Well, um, first, I could go into editor, edit, bring it in, etc. But there's a faster way to do that. So what I'm going to do is, this is set as a foreground. So I'm going to drag it on there. And when I do that, it shows this black so you might think well no problem I'll just select a background and just for giggles we'll select a still background and what you'll see is as soon as I do that this replaces that even though that was um, set as a foreground well it should have been set as a foreground here let me real quick Go to Media Action Behavior, oops, and set that as a foreground. So let's try that again. Click on it, and as soon as I click on this, see it replaces it because there is only one media layer. So what else can we do? Well, what we could do, since there's only one media layer, you need to put it above the media layer. So as I say, you could do that in editor, but what you can also do is right click here and go to convert media action to slide element. And what that does is it basically puts it on the slide layer. So you might not have ever seen that. And that's one of those things where someone one time asked what it was and why you would do it. Well, this is a, a situation. So. We'll click on that, and now, when I click on this, you'll notice that this ugly test PNG, again, I was in a hurry, I feel really insecure about it. Thanks for bringing it up. Um, this is on the slides layer. So just like anything else on in the slides layer, like this text, it is only persistent as long as the slide is selected. So the moment I select this slide, it goes away. The background, however, is persistent until it's replaced or removed. Remember, just a minute ago I said that? And so that stays. So if you needed a PNG to continue on, PNG, Portable Network Graphics, they can have transparency. If you needed that to continue on, you could put it on each of the slides. And because it's a still, it doesn't start over like a video does. So that's how I would do that in that situation. So that's just a few little tricks to deal with foregrounds, backgrounds, and um, media with transparency in ProPresenter 7. If you like this content, I bet you'd like my Pro 7 Quick Start course. So just head over to tdm.fyi slash Pro 7 Quick, and just put in your email address and name, and I'll create a login for you automatically so that you can take advantage of that uh, quick course to teach you the basics of Pro 7. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from Trinity Digital Media and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.